Hello guys and welcome to the Fact Spot. Dangerous criminals can be cult leaders, bank robbers, gangsters and even serial killers. These criminals are among the vilest and talked about villains the world has ever seen. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get updated the next time I post a new video. It turns out crime does pay and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most dangerous criminals in the world. Make sure to watch this video until the end to know who the number one most dangerous criminal is. For this list, we've looked at the most charismatic, disturbed, ruthless people to have ever made a living by breaking the law. Number 10. Jesse James Jesse James was also a notorious bank robber. He and his gang members murder anyone who got in their way. All the evidence points to him being a dangerous criminal who only stole from a gang. James and his gang rob the banks, stage coaches, and trains across the Midwest. Despite the brutality of the crimes, the James gang garnered sympathy among the public. He had a reputation for stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. But none of that is true. Over his career, James and his gang are believed to have stolen approximately $200,000, but were nevertheless admired for their home state of Missouri, mostly because they supported the Confederacy during the American Civil War. James' status as a folk hero, and finally cemented when fellow gang member Robert Ford shot him in the back. Number 9. James Whitney Bulger James Bulger, born in Boston, quickly made a name for himself as a young, ne'er-doer, known for stealing and getting into fights. Nicknamed Whitey by the local constabulary because of his light blonde hair, he loves extorting and killing and was on the run in 1994 rather than allowing himself to be arrested on suspicion of being involved in 19 murders. Bulger was mainstay on the most wanted list until his capture in 2011 in Santa Monica, California where he was living in a tiny apartment under an assumed name with hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash to keep him company. He was found guilty in 2013 of no fewer than 11 killings, of which he was slapped with two life sentences plus five years for good measure. He was brutally murdered in prison in 2018. Number 8. Jean-Bernard Lasnod Sometimes the biggest criminals can be hiding in plain sight. Originally born in France, Jean-Bernard Lasnod was a wanted man in several European countries during the 1980s and 90s due to his arms trafficking which broke several international trade embargoes. Lesnod went on to run to avoid capture and eventually resurfaced in Florida, where he brazenly continued conducting his illegal business from the comfort of his extravagant condo. He even had his own publicly accessible website where anyone could buy a fighter jet or a machine gun, so long as they had the cash and the proper papers. After disappearing in 2002, Lesnod was finally arrested in Switzerland that same year. Number 7. John Dillinger Bank robber John Dillinger became one of the most dangerous criminals of the 20th century after a series of high-profile heists caught national attention and made him public enemy number one. Dillinger was also a killer, as many folks met their fate from his machine gun, but the press loved him for his looks and style. Yet another bad guy with good publicity, John Dillinger was a Depression-era bank robber whose penchant for breaking the law was complemented by his love for the spotlight. Dillinger was very fond of playing Robin Hood, stealing from the rich banks and giving his spoils back to the people. While these claims are still disputed today, Dillinger was painted as a kind of folk hero, an image that was only helped by his multiple daring escapes from jail. He famously escaped prison with a fake wooden gun and the hunt for him only intensified. Eventually, the law caught up with him and he was shot as he walked out of a movie theater in 1934. A surprising amount of people appeared to mourn the so-called public enemy number one. Number 6. Osama Bin Laden Osama Bin Laden founded the Al-Qaeda and was the mastermind behind the 9-11 attacks, but it wasn't the pivotal event in American history that landed him on the most wanted list. He'd already been a target of the FBI for over a decade by 2001 due to the activities of his followers. These included such events as the 1993 Mogadishu bombing, which killed 18 Americans. The other attack on the World Trade Center the same year, which killed six and injured over 1,000. 1995 attempted assassinations of Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak. The US National Guard training center bombing in Riyadh later that year, which also killed six and injured hundreds. The 1996 bombing of the US Air Force complex in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, which killed 19 and injured over 100 and the twin bombings of the U.S. embassies in Africa in 1998, which between them claimed the lives of 22 people. That life came to an end on May 1st, 2011, when the U.S. forces stormed his hidey hole 
in Abbottabad, Pakistan and shot him dead. It was a fitting end for a man likely responsible for more deaths than any other most wanted fugitives combined. Number 5. Pablo Escobar Pablo Escobar known as the King of Coke during his reign and he amassed a fortune of over $2 billion. He's one of the most dangerous criminals of all time and his flagrant attitude has been subject to many movies and television shows. Escobar's massive drug empire allowed him to become not only one of the most powerful people in his native country, but also one of the wealthiest men in the world according to Forbes magazine. Escobar was able to keep his wealth thanks to his ruthless pragmatism and he was always willing to bribe, bump off or bomb anyone that got in his way, cops and children included. He ran the Medellin cartel, one of the most violent and notorious cartels to ever exist. During the 70s and 80s, he had a near monopoly in cocaine smuggling business to America, shipping over 80% of the drug smuggling into the country. The violent man met a violent end in 1993, where he was shot during a rooftop chase. Number 4. Al Capone Al Capone is straight out of central casting when you think mobster and during the 1920s, he became one of the most dangerous criminals who ever lived. He ran a violent empire in Chicago known as the Chicago Outfit that dealt with bootlegging, prostitution and gambling. Capone was also connected to the bloody St. Valentine's Day Massacre where many members of a rival gang were cut down by machine guns. It was largely due to the rival Irish gang hijacking Capone's liquor shipments and for this, he shot up an entire city block. Capone was also a bit of a celebrity and was known to donate his ill-gotten gains to charities. Too bad, he forgot to donate some of his fortunes to the federal government. However, he was put away for tax evasion in 1932. Number 3. Jeffrey Dahmer Jeffrey Dahmer started killing in 1978, just 18 years old, and wasn't arrested for murder until 1991. What cops found in his apartment, everything from severed heads in the fridge to a torso in the freezer, his heinous acts will never be forgotten, making him the number 3 most dangerous criminal on the list. Some of the gruesome details of his life of killing were seen via photos of mutilated bodies and body parts strewn across the apartment. Dahmer was attempting to preserve his victims and some say he was trying to make sex zombies. Whatever he was doing, the cannibalistic killer's gruesome apartment is the stuff of nightmares. He even had a vat of acid that he used to dispose his victims in. In all, Dahmer killed 17 people, mostly young men. He served time in prison twice, the first time for molestation and the second time for murder and he was killed by a fellow inmate in 1994. Number 2. John Wayne Gacy John Wayne Gacy, also known as Pogo the Clown, was a construction worker known for his suburban neighbors. John Wayne was involved in politics and even acted as a clown for birthday parties. He's one of the most dangerous criminals in American history, as well as one of the most prolific serial killers ever. Gacy was convicted of murdering 33 young boys between 1972 and 1978, stuffing them into a crawl space of his home. Dressed in his clown uniform, Gacy would perform at various fundraising events while also giving him access to tons of children. Gacy came under suspicion in 1978 when 15 year old boy last seen with him went missing. That wasn't the only time families of the missing boys had pointed a finger at Gacy, but it was the first time authorities took them seriously. Soon after, a search warrant granted police access to Gacy's home with the smell of nearly 30 bodies buried in a four-foot crawl space under his home. He was convicted of 33 counts of murder with additional counts of rape and torture. He was executed by lethal injection in 1994. Number 1. Ted Bundy Ted Bundy makes it to this list as the number one most dangerous criminal in the world. Ted Bundy was the guy your mama warned you about. Outwardly charming and personable, this man's M.O. was to pretend to be disabled or otherwise in need of assistance. He would sometimes bring his deceased victims home to further defile their bodies and was even known to display their severed heads around his apartment like ghastly trophies. His reign of terror began around 1974 and even though police had a pretty good description by the late 70s, he kept evading suspicion because he was so darn good looking and intelligent. Bundy was once arrested in Colorado and convicted of kidnapping but he escaped custody, moving to Florida where he killed multiple times more. Bundy's final arrest and its aftermath captured the attention of the nation as the accused murderer acted as his lawyer during what is believed to have been the first televised murder trial, welcomed interviews and boasted to the fans he had created. He was eventually executed in an electric chair in 1989. And there you have it, everyone on the list that has been criminally indicted or charged, some in national jurisdictions and some in international tribunals. They're all accused of a long story of committing some serious crimes. 
and are even considered a menace to the world. You've come to the end of the video and we hope you've learned something. Which criminal do you think would have made this list? Kindly comment on what you think in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe and like, turn on the notification bell until next time. Thank you so much for watching 